All right, welcome to Tectonic Plates, Season 1, Episode 1. I really think you're going to enjoy this. Uh, we've got everything set out here to do our Anything You Want quesadillas. Like I told you before, I'm going to do like a roasted corn quesadilla. And I've got everything laid out, but I really, really want to do this in real time so you can see how long every step takes. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up the gas. And then while this pan is getting hot, I'm going to show you everything that I've got here. So, I'm going to light it up, and that's probably good right there, I would say on a medium-low heat. All right, come on over. I'm going to use avocado oil today. You can use any oil that you really like. Um, avocado oil is good because it's got great health benefits, it has a high smoking point, um, and it's, uh, it's, it's actually, it's, it's pretty tasty. I think I even like the taste of that better than I do uh, olive oil. Got salt, pepper, smoked paprika is gonna go in the oil, and then some, we've got some ground cumin that's gonna go in to where we're going next, which is here are the ingredients that I'm gonna use for the roasted salsa today, or roasted uh, corn today. I've got some salsa verde, uh, some lime juice, I've got garlic, and then the kernels of corn. These were frozen. I went ahead and thawed them out, so now they're ready to roll. Uh, these are the things that are going to go into quesadilla today. Uh, a Mexican style uh, cheese blend. We've got pico de gallo and then your blend of lettuces. And then today for garnish, I've got sour cream and I've got some chopped cilantro there. So that's what's going to go in. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to roast the corn. So the corn is going to go in here in a second. We're gonna not have any oil in here, roast the corn and gonna char it some. And then when that's done, I'm actually gonna put it back in its container and then we'll start putting the quesadilla together and that will go in the quesadilla right before we wrap it up. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is first, we're gonna throw some garlic in here and you don't need a whole lot. Probably that might be a quarter of a tablespoon. Okay, that goes in. And you should hear it right away. And because there's not a lot in here, it shouldn't take but just maybe 20 to 30 seconds. You should begin to smell the garlic flavor, the, the garlic uh, starting to roast a little bit. Shouldn't take long at all. And then right away we're going in with the corn. So that's probably a quarter cup of corn. No oil, okay? And that's kind of the definition really of roasting is there's no oil, it's just in there dry with whatever is in there. And we're gonna add some uh, salsa here in just a minute to kind of give it some flavor. But the thing you wanna do here is maybe increase your gas a little bit because we're trying to go for roasting. So roasting is a way to actually increase and almost intensify the sugars that are in the food that you're trying to roast. So corn has uh, natural sugars in there and by roasting or charring it, it's gonna bring out some of that sweetness and it's gonna add some darker color to it and I'll add a little bit of heat to that as well. So it's gonna be a neat flavor. Okay, you can be unintended uh, interruption, but uh, you know, when you have kids, sometimes that happens. So. When I had to pause the video, I actually turned off the flame so that you could still see how long it takes to do everything. So I've turned the flame back on. We've got uh, the corn is starting to sizzle again a little bit. I want to be careful with this though because I don't want to burn the garlic. So the last thing we're going to put in here is a little bit of this salsa verde. Uh, if you don't have this, That's fine. You can always just throw in some salsa if you want. Give it a little shake. Um, and that's gonna add a good bit of flavor too. Uh, inside the salsa verde is like jalapenos and the tomatillos and stuff like that. Um, so you're really just kind of adding this for flavor and a little bit of lime juice. Not much because you, you've spent a lot of time 
you spent time roasting this and you don't want to take away from the flavors that you're building. So just kind of swish it, whoop, swish it around a little bit. All right. Let it sit there for a second. Let the lime juice come to temperature. And contrary to what you might think, I'm actually not gonna salt and pepper this. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right back in the container because with this, we're done with it for now. We'll come back and we'll put it inside the quesadilla when we are ready for it. Okay, um, all told, that takes about five minutes. Now, um, I'm gonna rinse this out really quick or wipe it out because we don't want all this stuff to burn when we start doing the quesadillas. So that goes there. Here for a second. When you do something like this, when the pan is still hot, uh, load yourself down with some wet paper towels. Wipe that out. that out because what you don't want is you don't want this stuff to burn in the pan while you're doing quesadilla stuff. You want a reasonably clean pan. Yeah, look at all that that came out. You don't want that. All right. Quick rinse. Now the fire's still on, your pan is still on the fire. Let's throw in the oil and let's get started. All right. Avocado oil. That's plenty. Okay. I'm gonna let the oil get hot for a second. Go ahead and coat the pan. These quesadillas are sauteed. Um, I know some people some folks have quesadilla makers. That's cool. Sometimes that's actually faster. Um, but in this case, I wanted to show you how to do it on the stovetop. Okay, so now we've got some smoked paprika. I was telling you about this earlier. I'm gonna put this in the oil because I like the flavor that it gives. It's gonna give a little bit of heat. There's not much heat in smoked paprika, um, but it's a little bit. So that's plenty. And it's also something that adds some really beautiful color like the color of that paprika that's awesome All right so the outside of your quesadilla outside of your tortilla is going to have that golden color to it like here's your whole wheat case here's your whole wheat tortilla but when you're all done with it it's going to have this great golden orange color on the outside okay so oil is hot here's what we are ready to do all right, quesadilla is, half of it is gonna go in right now. And you hear that, I'm folding it over. I'm gonna go in right away with my ingredients. So I've got, why don't you come around this way a little bit. My wife is helping to video today. So cheese goes in. turn this this way so we'll, there we go okay your pico is going in now and this is pretty much what whatever you want by this stage if you don't necessarily like pico but you want some of these individual ingredients Go for it. Pico's just tomatoes, red onions, some peppers, cilantro, lemon or lime juice, some jalapenos, and maybe some salt and pepper. 
Um, gonna be really careful about these lettuces because you don't want to wilt them too much. So I'm kind of trying to add them closer to the end. All right, then your roasted corn. And I'm making two of these, so I'm gonna use half of that. Okay, go ahead and fold it over. And that cheese is gonna melt and it's gonna help hold that in place. Okay, I like to swish it around a little bit. Yeah, this is gonna be great. You've got some onions in there that are already kind of caramelizing a little too. Okay, so here's the part that you might be you might be a little bit careful with um, because we're gonna flip this. So what you're gonna wanna do is always when you're flipping something, you wanna flip it and turn it away from you, especially if there's oil in the pan because that way if it splatters, it's gonna splatter away from you. Now there's not much oil in this pan, so I'm gonna first show you how I would do it with the spatula and then I'm gonna do it uh, the way that I'm comfortable with. So spatula under, turning, use your hand, turn away from you, let it slide back down. Okay, so now you've got this really flavorful, crunchy, crispy on the outside with the smoked paprika and the avocado oil. And this really needs like maybe about another minute or so and you are all set. Now I'm pressing this down just so that the melted cheese can, can get all the way through and bind it and keep it closed. But that's how you would flip it. You turn it, flip it away from you, let it slide back down, and you haven't created a big oily uh, mess. Now the way, that, the way that I like to flip these and a bunch of other things is actually I've had some time to practice so I like to flip these, and really we're almost we're almost to the point where we're going to plate now. Um, but if you are wishing to practice, I would first practice with a sauté pan, not hot, no oil, and just a piece of bread. And what I would do is I would practice this motion to where you can flip the piece of bread over and over and over and over again. When you're comfortable with that, great, give it a shot. Now. I'm gonna flip it like that. There we go. So it's a quick forward back and an upward motion. Boom, you're done. Now, this is all set. We're gonna put it right on the plate. There you go, okay. And then it's time for garnish. I'm gonna move that off the fire for a second. Turn the fire off. Okay, so this is the part where we're garnishing. Notice no salt, no pepper, all the flavors coming from other stuff. So a little sour cream on top. I would not recommend putting sour cream inside one of these when it's on the fire. Melty sour cream kind of goes all over the place. Okay, a little bit of cilantro. Now some people really don't like cilantro and they're like, they don't like the flavor, it tastes very funny to them, that's fine, you can use other things if you like, but actually that means that you're kind of allergic to cilantro. There is a cilantro allergy. Now, if you are, like me, you gotta have salt and pepper. Okay, I'm gonna put that there because I'm gonna use that for myself in just a second. Okay, what you would do is just a little over the top, that's all. And this one really doesn't even need salt because there's salt in the pico and there's salt in the salsa verde. So that's it. And anything you want quesadilla done this way in the saute pan, if you've got a quesadilla maker at home, fantastic. If you want though, quickly cut inside this and you can see what it looks like. Got a fork. Come on in, get in nice and close. Hear that crunch, I like that. And there you go. You've got all your goodness in there. Loaded with good stuff. If you want shrimp, if you want shredded beef, if you want chicken, if you want any of that stuff, you can throw that in in the early stages and let that go all the way through. What's a cooking segment without getting a bite? I don't know. 
Mm. Yeah. Right on. All right. So anything you want quesadilla. Description, ingredients, all that stuff in the description below. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.